Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to get a few things done that I've been wanting to do. Actually, I can only think of two things that I want to do. So we'll see how this video goes. Um, I want to mop the kitchen floor because it's dirty and um, yeah, I'm gonna mop the floor. The kids have been, you know, walking outside barefoot and coming in the house and they're not allowed to walk outside barefoot, but they do anyway. Um, so I'm gonna clean the floor because I know it needs it. And then I also want to put up a like, privacy film thing on the bathroom window because I feel like the neighbors can maybe see through the curtain. <laughs> um, there's like a curtain in the bathroom I'll show you, but it's kind of like see-through a little bit, I think. So I'm kind of worried about taking a shower at night when it's dark and the light's on. <laughs> and yeah, so my mom actually bought some of that film stuff for um, a window downstairs uh, to keep the kids <laughs> from like looking out of it because Paisley kept going over to that little window and like slobbering all over it and touching it and uh so my mom put like a film there so that the kids don't uh go over to it and try to look out the window and like make it all disgusting all the time so anyway she had some leftover from that so i'm going to use the leftover to put a little bit on the bathroom window to hopefully help me feel like nobody is nobody's able to like see into the bathroom at night <laughs> um going to make our bed i might vacuum up here I don't know. Um, oh, an exciting thing I want to tell you that tell you about is that I am going to be getting laser eye surgery. I am super excited. Um, I went yesterday to a free consultation thing, and they took all the pictures of my eyeballs and everything, and then I scheduled it. So I'm scheduled to have it done on July 10th, and yeah, it should be amazing. It's gonna be. You know, it's expensive. It's not covered by just insurance or anything like that. Um, but at this point in my life, after selling our house, this is kind of like the only time I'll actually have like any extra money probably to get this done. So yeah, I want to go ahead and do it. And I'm so excited to be able to like see clearly like I'm supposed to. Um, the last context prescription that I got is like so bad. I don't know why it's like, it's like wrong or something. I don't know. Um, I think I got, like my one eye is like negative four and the other prescription in my other eye that they gave me is like negative 3.75 and I haven't been like a negative three anything for like years so I don't know why the doctor thought that was this prescription that I needed but it's not good like I things are blurry in stores like the words on signs are blurry people's faces are blurry and yeah, I don't know, I just got frustrated. I've been thinking about having this eye surgery done for a long time. Um, my brother had it done years ago and he said it was like the best thing he ever did um so yeah i'm really excited about that i'm glad i'm getting it done soon so that i'll be able to enjoy most of the summer with no glasses no contacts um so yeah i will uh document my eye surgery experience the best thing so far about it is that after i have it done um i have to take a nap for four hours the doctor's doctor's orders that i have to come home close my eyes for four hours so I don't know I don't know if Greg's gonna be home for this or not I might just have somebody else drive me there that day and bring me back home and then <laughs> unfortunately Madison and my mom will have to uh, handle the kids um, I really don't want to have to ask Greg to take a day off of work for my eye surgery <laughs> um, but it's gonna be nice to be told that you need to take a nap for four hours so when else in my life is that ever gonna happen um, another thing I want to talk about in the beginning of this video is I finally heard back from the vet about Gracie. Um, it took about two weeks to finally, well, two weeks since the time uh, they did her ear analysis to finally be able to talk to the doctor about the results. The doctor's office had the results for a few days and the doctor wasn't calling me. Um, so I finally got to talk to her and I hate myself because I had like notes in front of me and the one one of the things that I really wanted to mention, I just totally forgot to mention, I wanted to ask like, well, why do you think she couldn't walk after, you know, whatever you guys did to her in the back? Like, why was she not able to walk? And I didn't even mention that. I was just concerned with uh, the results of her year analysis. And it showed that she, she had a UTI. Um, she had E. coli, which I guess is the cause of the UTI. Um, and she gave me a couple things that she thought, she thought Gracie might have had. One of them was like, Something with a P. I'll leave it on the screen. I can't remember what it was. Pio, 
something. Um, and then the other thing was, I think another thing with the pee, pyo, pyometria or something like that. That's like an infection of the uterus. Uh, and the first one was like an infection of the kidneys that's caused from a UTI that's not treated. Um, so I don't know, she could have had, I mean, she had a UTI, her urine was pink. So I pretty much knew that was gonna come back, but I was hoping there would have been something else uh, from the test to say like, you know, what killed her because you don't just die from a UTI, but I guess you can if, I guess you can if it like advances far enough and the infection like gets into your kidneys and the infection then just goes through your body. But the thing is, and that this is what I really wish I had mentioned to the doctor was like, why couldn't she walk after that? I think they did something to her that made her not be able to walk. And Greg and I both kind of feel like maybe when they did, they stuck the needle in her to draw the urine out. Like um, they punctured something. This is our theory that maybe they punctured something and she had internal bleeding from that and was unable to walk because of, you know, something going on internally that we didn't know about after that was done. Um, I mean, I really don't understand I really don't know why she would be able to walk fine. Even minutes before they took her in the back, she was standing on the table in the in the vet's office, like trying to get off the table. She was able to walk then. It was only 20 minutes later after they did what they did to her back there that she couldn't walk anymore. And then a couple hours later, she passed away. So I think the doctor, my feeling is that the doctor is trying to cover for herself and she's probably nervous to talk to me. Like that's why, like why else would she not call me back as soon as she had the results, you know? It's my mom's dog barking. Um, so anyway, that's is that's all we're gonna find out. I mean, it's too late now for a necropsy, necropsy or whatever you call it, um, like an autopsy on a dog. It's too late for that. I kind of wish I did that. It's over now. Gracie is in doggy heaven, and hopefully she was not in much pain. You know, I think I said this last time. Like she wasn't giving me any signals that she was really in pain, whining or anything, crying, I don't know. Do dogs whine and cry when they're in pain? I don't know. Um, but that's the story with the vet. It's over. I've learned a lot. And I'm just happy that I was with Gracie at the end and she was here and she wasn't in some vet hospital with me, not even with her. Um, and I'm glad that she was 15 years old and this didn't happen when she was like 10 or something because that would have been way worse. So this is my little piece of uh, window cling. I thought I was gonna have to like cut it and like measure it and cut it and stuff, but it doesn't fit the whole window. So I am, I'm just gonna put it like right in the middle of the window. Well, not in the middle. I'm gonna put it down all the way and in the middle so that it blocks like what needs to be blocked. <laughs> So I think that it's pretty good. Can you even see what it looks like? It's got like roses. It's pretty, but that's not the point. It's not to be pretty, it's to block peeping in here. The only thing is like, this is still open on over here. So I don't know, I guess I could go like this with the curtain on the side. What buddy? Um, um, can Noah watch one, one after mine? Okay, so there, that should be fine.
wanted to show you guys one of my best life hacks. Is this a life hack? I don't know what this is. This is a a thing that I did. <laughs> I bought a tiny, like a small jug that is easy to pour, easy to open. Just flips open like that, and the kids can hold it. And now they can pour their own milk. Now that I don't have to hear like a million times a day, can you get me milk? Can I have some milk? They can go get a cup and get their own milk. And it's lovely. I got this at Marshall's, I think. Yep. It's very nice. It's made my life a little bit easier. I am cooking dinner. I'm going all out tonight, making something special. I'm making sloppy joes. This is little sloppy joe sauce, so we'll see how that is. I also have corn. And really I wanted to show you guys these things. I washed these before. These are the chair covers, the chair sliders that I have on our kitchen chairs, and these are the best ones I've ever used. Like if you have chair if you have sliders on your chairs, like the sticky ones, you know what I mean? They just like fall off after like a couple months or so and you have to keep putting new ones on or like they slide off the bottom kind of off the bottom of the uh, chair foot what the foot of the chair is that what it's called um these i found these on amazon they go over the chair like the chair the leg the leg of the chair um the leg goes inside of here and it fits so well they don't come off these have lasted like months now i've washed them a couple times because after a while they'll get like kind of sticky on the bottom and they're not like sliding very well anymore so i have them all over here all washed and ready to go on back on the chairs and they'll be like nice nice and like new again. Oh god, it's only go with bag and go with. Great. I'll leave a link for those in the description in case you have been needing some chair sliders. They're really good. Are you gonna get another bag? Uh, yeah. You're wasting garbage bags, Chase. Because you ripped it. No more after that. You just throw garbage bags out. So it's Sunday now. I just left Goodwill. I just went there to browse for a little bit. Um, normally I'll like stop in Goodwill when like I have already been out somewhere else and then I feel like I have to like rush through Goodwill. So this time this was the only place I went and I looked through the books a lot. That was the main thing I was looking through. Um, I just got three books for the kids. Um, but that's it. But it was nice to just take my time and browse through the store. But this morning, uh, I went to a non-Catholic church for the first time in my life, um, and it was interesting, it was different. Um, I liked it, but it was a little bit boring still. <laughs> I was hoping for it to be like just more lively, and uh, I don't know. I just had this image of it just being like, um, what's the word? Some lady just saw me vlogging and she just like randomly smiled as she was walking past. That was so uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I don't know, I was just expecting it to be a little like, a little more fun and like more praiseful and just like, I don't know. But yeah, church was interesting this morning. Um, I might make a video just talking about the, like my first like my experience going to a non, I don't even know what to call it, a, a church that's not Catholic for the first time in my life and just the differences that I saw and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if I'll go to this one again. I think I want to try different ones and I don't know, I was just expecting the church to be a little bit more like fun or something. Not fun, I don't know. It's just It just felt kind of blah still. So I don't know. I did like though, one, one thing I'll mention is that they took the kids out the kids can go to like Sunday school during the service, so that was really nice. I've never seen that happen before in a, a Catholic church where the kids get to leave and like go somewhere else during it. Um, they don't have to like sit through the whole long thing. So that was really nice. But yeah, that was fun to go to a different church. I just was expecting it to be a little bit less boring. Um, the pastor was like very long-winded. I didn't expect the sermon or whatever you call it to go on for that long maybe that's just how it is normally like in a catholic church it's the very like it's broken up more there's more things happening so it kind of feels like it helps it go a little faster the time passes a little bit faster because they're constantly moving from one thing to the next and in this church it was just like the main 
big portion of it was the sermon and it felt like it was 45 minutes long and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, it's taking a long time, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'll go back to that one next time. Like the next time I go to a different church, I want to go to a different church and just like try out a bunch of them and see what I end up liking. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Wait, I said I was gonna show you guys the books that I got. So I got this one for Chase. It's Wild Wild Wild, Wild Wolves. It's like a easy reader book. He has another book about wolves, but I'm pretty sure it's different. So I think he'll like that. And then I found Adventures of Harold and His Friends. And it looks like it's like an older book. Nope. When was this written? 2002. Okay, so maybe it's not old. I thought it was. Oh well. Um, but it just looks like a little... Another little easy reader book I could read to Noah. Not very many words on the page. That's good. Cute little pictures. Um, and then, can you see what I see on a scary, scary night? And it's just like, and it's just like a picture find a book. Um, you know, gives you a list of things to find, and you find it. That's all I got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leave me a sunflower in the comments, and I'll see you guys for my next video. Bye.